Hello everyone, I am Guang Honggu. Our topic is Advances Densitation of Political Fan Pages, a multimodal approach. This is our three-minute promotional video. In the past, to investigate the echo chamber effect, there were many studies on social issues, such as Brexit or COVID-19. The core method of this study often involves sensitization. In our observation, when users on social media express their thoughts on issue, users with similar stance often have posts with similar content, accompanied by the same or similar images. This type of post also tends to attract users with similar view to interact with it. In previous sensitization research, issues were mainly in learning methods and feature selection. In terms of learning methods, most have adopted supervised and semi-supervised learning. However, a drawback of this method is the need for a certain amount of labeled data and their inability to adapt to different issues. Although unsurprised learning solves this is proper, current related research has not deeply explored specific features. Most research relies on features related to the post content, followed by user-related features, such as personal information, following, and followers. But this information is not always visible, thus limiting the scope of detectable subjects. As for image mentioned earlier, they have not yet been used in relevant research. Therefore, we have proposed two research questions. The first one is whether the inclusion of image and the user interacting with the post are helpful for sensitization. The second question is whether combining text with these two types of features can achieve the best performance. We collected posts related to the 2021 Taiwan referendum from Facebook. First, we selected page of political party, politicians, and celebrities with different stance. Then we filter posts related to the referendum using keywords. Finally, for each post, we collected images and information about the user who interact with the post. In our proposed framework, we divide the input into a text and image and extract feature from each. For the text part, we use Esbert and Roberta to obtain text embedding and sentiment probability. For images, we use Bet to obtain embeddings. After concatenating these three elements, we treat each post as a node. The existence of edge is determined by the degree of user overlap between posts, and we train the graph using graph stage. Finally, in our future ablation study, we combine and test the three types of features, text, image, and user interaction. The results shown that in the framework we proposed, sensitization led integrated text, image, and user interactions deliver the best performance. Our promotional video concludes here. Thank you for watching.